It's Friday. You know what that means? It's time for Tattoos of the Week. The latest of body piercing and content news. So you should stick around. Hi, guys. B Star with two R's here at Skin Kitchen Tattoo with a big old fish in above my head. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Anyway, uh, my tattoo this week is a sleeve that we started about three months ago. The fella wanted to have these two hawks battling each other. And um, I think the reference is from a song, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but anyway, uh, the there's one living hawk and one dead one that's all like, you know, zombified. And uh, he's kind of on the top end, all tattered and just uh, going at it with this, uh, this other hawk. Um, they're kind of spiraling out of control as they're, you know, flying and fighting and... Uh, threw in some skin break st stuff in there just to kind of break up uh, the action a little bit, kind of give it a sense of motion. Um, there's a cover up up top in the tattered wing of the 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 dead falcon. That uh, was a symbol. Not really sure what the symbol was. I can't remember, but we covered that up pretty good. Um, then on the inside of the arm. He wanted to have this wolf that was just all beat up and scarred and gnarly looking. So we got that guy in on the inner forearm. Um, and then right around that corner behind him, there's this pile of skulls. And I can't remember what that represented, but um, I'm going to guess it's something like death. Uh, but anyway, that was really fun to work on. Um, up above that, we got some trees in the distance and the moonlight. Uh, yeah, just like some cool background kind of scenery just to kind of fill in that inner bicep area. So, yeah, uh, overall, it took five sessions, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that was most of the day each time. And uh, dude was a super trooper, just, just sat through it. And uh, we blasted this out pretty quick. And I'm very happy with it. He's very happy with it. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the story. And thanks for checking it out. And bye. Uh, hey guys, what's up? It's Friday. Must be time for a tattoo of the week once again. Um, this week I worked on a buddy of mine, uh, Mickey. He's a really fun guy to work on. Uh, we did a Warren Zevon skull from one of Warren Zevon's albums. It's uh, the skull with the cigarette in his mouth and the, sun, the aviator sunglasses on. Uh, it was a ton of fun. It was a real good time. Uh, we had a blast doing it. Uh, a little black and gray piece. Check it out. See what you think. Uh, I really like the glasses, how they turned out. And, you know, you can see through them a little bit in some spots. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Give us a like. Give us a follow, as always. Uh, we hope you're having a great weekend. And come see Davo over at Axiom Body Piercings, taking care of all your body piercings needs with all kinds of new jewelry and stuff in. Maybe he'll get a shot of them here since we're roaming around the shop today. Uh, come in and check us out, man. We'd love to see you. Hope you stop by and say hi. And we'll see you this later this weekend, or hopefully maybe next week or the week after, or maybe the next. Later, guys. Have a good weekend. Davo here with the Body Piercing and Content News of the Week. Well, uh, hmm, you know, I've invested a lot of time, energy, money, you know, that kind of stuff. I bought one of these big things so that we could have perfect lighting and a great, great, great background and great sound. But, well, as you can see from right here, we're set up to do the Q&A in the kitchen. And... If we tear it back down, we have to set it all back up, which means that we won't get more episodes done. So we're going to leave it up, and today we're going to do kind of a run and gun here on the uh, the channel, as you've seen from uh, the other ones, a couple different parts of the studio you're seeing today, possibly for the first time if you've never visited. Speaking of visiting, if you'd like to get pierced, set up an appointment. your best option. To do that, go to axiompiercing.com slash booking. It'll take you through the process. Um, if you'd like to get tattooed, your best option is to start off with an email at, uh, send it to shop at skinkitchen.com or give Jess a call at 515-255-4430. So, uh, 
yeah. Um, content wise, this week, let's see, what did I get up? Oh, uh, on Friday, did the studio update, which is basically the same as this. Uh, this is the copies rights striking room. Because <laughs> there's always music playing. Um, on Friday, did the studio update, uh, just like this, but it was last week, unlike this week. It had different tattoos and different stuff. Then on uh, Friday, or th yeah, Friday, is it Friday or Saturday, posted uh, what you should know about rook piercings. It's kind of my piercing consultation. This is like the, I don't know, seventh or eighth episode of that. Uh, we didn't have a Q&A to get out because we didn't have time to film. A lot of things going on. It's summertime. You know how it is. Uh, everybody's really busy for some reason. So uh, instead, we skipped it this week. And there's Jack. It's kind of weird to do it this way. Yeah. <laughs> there's Jack. Hello. Hello, all. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. So Monday posted the latest episode of uh, Pros and Cons by Piercer. This one was episode uh, covered Spider Bite Piercings. Then yesterday, as in Thursday, posted the latest episode of Tattoo. Who knew? This episode was uh, Jack talking about why tattoos are so darn expensive. They're costly. Uh, that takes us to today. As far as other piercing news, of course, uh, we got one new piece in. Uh, fancy thing. It's an end. It's a kitty cat. At least I think it came in. I haven't been able to open the order yet. Been too busy this morning. Well, that's it for me. Here's Jack with his Tattoo of the Week. Hey, tattoo fans. It's Jack once again with a tattoo I did for you to check out. This one's actually on my son, Sebastian. It was his birthday, so what does every dad tattoo guy do for his son on his uh, 29th birthday? You give him a tattoo. So yeah, he's, uh, he's a grease monkey. He likes working on the cars, making things go fast. Uh, so he came up with this idea. It uh, kind of incorporates Fury Road, the Mad Max movie. Has a little call out to that up top with the logo. And then uh, the old school V8 logo underneath that. And some pistons for flavor. Kind of wrapped some uh, signature little smoky flamey stuff through it to give a little movement and kind of help separate things. And I think it came out pretty darn good. There's still maybe a little tucking in here and there after it heals that I want to do to really finish it off. But I was excited for you guys to see it. So I thought, hey, just show it to him. So I did. All right. Uh, <laughs> and that was a lightning strike off my phone. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed looking at it. It took about five or so hours, I think. Um, yeah, one shot, one kill, and, um, so far his arm hasn't fallen off, so good stuff. Anyway, I hope you liked looking at it, and make sure to come back next week so you can see what else we got for you. Have a great one, and we'll see you next time. All right, you watched it all. All that's left for you to do is uh, like, subscribe, uh, whatever you feel like doing. Whatever you're motivated to do, do that. Until next time. Here's hoping only tattoos and piercings heal with ease and without a single issue. And if you're in the Des Iowa area, we all hope to see if you're tattooing and piercing needs in the future. In the future! There's Jesse. Hard at work, I see, as always. I did it all. <laughs> see you guys.